when it comes to diet, I think that's a big problem for people. What's the what's the biggest problem you see when it comes to diet? What are what are most people doing wrong? Well, what they've been doing wrong for the last ten thousand years when they invented agriculture. Right now, it's got even worse for one simple reason: convenience. People like it to be convenient mm -hmm. and sugary. Yeah. So if you're going to take all the sugar, refinated stuff, over-processed stuff, and uh, start looking about things which been at least 200 years ago, eat food, for example, a few slogans. Eat food which can get rotten, but eat before it does. Do not eat prepackaged food. Simple enough, I think so. Mm -hmm. You need to cook your meal by yourself from the fresh stuff, something which actually can grow. Okay. If you're going to do that, well, you're going to be better off. There are many dead fat diets in the market, huge yeah. amount. Uh, the record in my office, uh, one woman dropped weight, 84 pounds, four months. At the top, she did some taekwondo, so it helped her to burn more calories. Male record, 120 pounds one year. And we're talking about healthy drop of weight, people who do not gain it back. So mm -hmm. people actually doing some stuff, helping detox and clean up, because Anyone can lose weight, very easy. Here's bread and water, you eat it for a month, okay? You're gonna lose weight because you're gonna drop everything, but you're gonna be very sick after that. Sure. So you need to make it a healthy way. Issues with diet are very simple to fix. Eat things which are gonna nurture your body. And here's a very little thought. It's not my thought, it's actually from Natasha Campbell, but uh, she kind of made a thought which is very popular right now. If you wanna build your body, you need proteins and fats. If you wanna clean your body, you need vegetables and fruits. Everything else is kind of stays in between, in case you need calories. If you, you I mean, God bless, thanks God we have agriculture, because otherwise humanity wouldn't be able to grow and prosper and do so, because one person can feed many. Hunters, gatherers do not have that luxury. One person can feed two. There is a place for everything, but things we have agriculture, we can grow vegetables, we can grow fruit. If we're gonna get, use more or less sugar and more veggies, health will get better. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but my strong, my, my personal opinion and my professional opinion, if you actually want to help people to uh, get better, you need to be on a paleo diet, and be a specific one, paleo winter, not paleo summer. I call it phase one diet. I actually wrote a book about it. But um, if people are gonna do that, they got stronger, they got healthy. I'm not a fanatic. You don't have to be fanatic. If it's your birthday, have a chocolate cake, good quality one, of course. Okay? If it's your kid's birthday, wonderful, have a great time. Go with friends, have some tequila, vodka, whatever makes you happy. But you're not doing it every day. You do it strong people, can play around sometimes. You have to be reasonable. But when you're talking about people who actually in need of health support, there's something wrong with them, you need to be reasonably strict with them.